Hey Knights, welcome back to the studio. On today's show, we'll get a glimpse of the incoming 8th grade class, learn more about the new Foreign Exchange Club, and head up to Phoenix to check out the Friendship Garden. Stay tuned because an all new episode starts right now. I'm Riley Rohner. And I'm Ethan Webb. We've got so many athletic seniors on our campus, and on Wednesday, many were able to go and commit to the college of their choosing. Seniors signed with outstanding colleges like U of A, University of Colorado, and Southeast Missouri State University. Uh, for the next two years, I'm proud to announce that I will be playing for the football team. Go Hawks! Last Friday, eighth graders from Sossman Middle School visited our campus for the Uniting the Kingdom event. They learned about classes, clubs, sports, and everything else that Higley has to offer. We look forward to seeing them on campus next school year as brand new freshmen. Speaking of next year's freshman class, I heard you met a few 8th graders yourself. How did that go? Honestly, it went great. 8th graders are hilarious. Let's roll the clip. So, this is our little segment. You guys want to get interviewed? Yeah? Alright, stay right here for me. Sweet. So, we're just asking the 8th graders here some stuff about high school. So, what are you guys excited about for high school? Um, all the friends and memories. School. Excited for what? School. Just school in general. Yes. Uh, lunch. Sports. Uh, probably the sports. The sports. 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 Just sports? Anything else? No. Getting out of school so early. Is there anything you guys are worried about? Bad grades. Uh, my grades. <laughs> uh, keeping my grades up. Keeping your grades up? Okay. Same thing. I'm worried about having a lot of homework. Uh, the homework. Uh, all the homework and classes. They're really tall here and, uh, uh, Girls and judgmental thoughts. Uh, getting jumped. So will you guys be planning on joining the Fortnite club? Um, I don't know. It depends on the time of year. Time of year? I only play Fortnite in like the fall. Of course, bro. We're bringing Fortnite back. I'm not very good at it, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Perhaps. I'll play Fortnite. No. <laughs> Why not? I don't like video games. I don't think so. <laughs> you know, my mom says I'm getting addicted, but you know, I'm trying. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty good. No. Not at all? No. He is. Uh, I'm not, no. First day of school is a big day, so uh, what's your guys' fits going to be? I don't know. More in the Black Forces. Black Air Force? Yeah. Clothes. I'm a hoodie and jeans. <laughs> um, I'm probably going to wear uh, uh, some Nike Elites uh, with some Nike shoes, Nike shorts, uh, Nike top, and Nike hat that says... Uh, kind of like what I'm wearing right now. It's decent, decent. You guys pretty bummed that there's no recess this year? No, we don't get them at middle school that much. No. You miss it? You miss it? Yeah. No recess? Yeah, there's no recess this year. There's no recess, Wyatt. Sounds like the incoming freshman class is full of surprises and ready for the new year. This has been Ethan and Ethan reporting for The Studio. Earlier this week, Maya and Kennedy visited the Japanese Friendship Garden in Phoenix. It's a popular location for meditation and mindfulness. Let's take a look. The Japanese Friendship Garden contains a lot of cultural importance. Kennedy and I wanted to find out more. So I think that the most important thing to remember about our garden is that really it's a gift from Himeji, Japan. And then eventually in the 1980s and 1986, this garden was proposed by the architects of Himeji, Japan um, to be as a sign of friendship and gift and everything like that. Then eventually the construction happened in 1997 with the tea house and the stroll garden later in the early 2000s. It brings a lot of people together to appreciate the Asian culture. Like they have a ton of different events that go on that like helps people learn more about it and just understand and appreciate it more. The garden also has many different aspects to offer for all walks of life. We're a traditional hide and reveal garden, um, which means that everywhere you go into this garden is going to have a manicured, mindful um, focus and lens and look to it and everything like that. It's just like a nice place to get away from like your everyday stuff because it's just so different from what we have around here in Gilbert. Um, it's nice to just walk around. There's a ton of pathways so it's a good place to like spend a decent amount of time in like an afternoon and it really is a nice place to go to. One of the most important things when it comes to that is that it's that mindfulness, it's that friendship. Everything is this crafted, intentional, mindful activity 
um, like friendship and peace and everything is. It's something that's not just done overnight. It's something that's carefully curated and is mindfully done over long periods of time. In lieu to familiar Gilbert landscapes, this garden offers a refreshing change of scenery. Humans aren't naturally supposed to be in giant skyscrapers. So to have a space where you can go and restore that connection with nature and you can touch and um, walk around and smell the flowers um, and have the open sky and be surrounded by plant life, especially in Phoenix, Arizona, um, is really important. Reporting for the studio, it's Maya and Kennedy. Tonight, Higley Boys Soccer takes on the Tigers of Gilbert High School here on our field. The game starts at 6 p.m., so be sure to come out and cheer on our varsity nights. Our school has a brand new club on campus. The Foreign Exchange Club is connecting local and foreign students here at Higley High. Mike and Griffin have the story. The Foreign Exchange Club is a new club here at Higley that offers both foreign and American students to interact with each other in and out of school. We asked a few club members what their thoughts were on the club. This club is kind of new, so we created it um, to help the foreign exchange students at our school get more used to American culture and like watch movies and like play games and such because a lot of them don't know um, for example what Nintendo is or some of them don't know what Disney is so we're just helping them get used to those kinds of movies that they their host families might not have introduced to them. You get a foreign exchange friend and you and this friend you have to go to different places, like to movie theaters, bowling, and you're just supposed to have fun together. We've made a list of all the things we want to make, and for now we just want, like, want to introduce them to like our pastimes, like going to the mall maybe. We uh, want to like, get into like, American sports and like, maybe sports from their culture. The club allows anyone to join, and foreign exchange students are the most welcome. I think I enjoy hanging out with the people from all the different countries and such because we have people from Cambodia and Vietnam and like Austria and so it's really cool to like ask them what language do you guys speak there and um, like what is food like where you come from, what's your favorite color, you know those kinds of things. I think it's really fun. I guess they can just like have the opportunity to meet new people and not, not only like learn ab about them but like also teach others about like being American, I guess, and just making new friends. If you're a foreign exchange student and you don't have a lot of friends, it's an ideal club for you because you can get, you can get friends here. And if you're an American student who wants to get more foreign exchange friends, here you go. It's the best club ever for you. Club meetings are every Wednesday in Miss Moda's room. This is Mike Weber and Griffin Small reporting for The Studio. The much-anticipated baseball season has finally arrived. Andrew and Jack headed down to the field to spend some time with the team. Baseball is America's pastime and has a wild crowd since the 1800s. And with the baseball season coming up soon, we decided to sit down with the players and coach to see how they've gotten ready for the season. I prepare for the season by working out with my personal trainer and just going to the field whenever I have free time. Uh, working on my own and just grinding on my off time. Well, we place a lot of importance and emphasis on camaraderie, culture, things of that nature. So we spent the first three, four, four months together in a fall camp, which gave us the opportunity to really come together as a program. As the season creeps up, the excitement only builds. I'm excited for the season because it's my senior year, and it's like our kind of year to shine. And it's just a new opportunity every game that we go out there and play. Senior year, time to ball out leave it all on the field. Um, we've got a great opportunity. We've got a ton of support through our boosters, uh, administration. We've got a phenomenal coaching staff. There's really not many reasons not to be excited right here. But with the new season comes new expectations. Our team expectations are just to try to win every game we can, especially the region games, so they can boost us in the playoffs. To try and win every game and have a good positive attitude the whole time. It's a great culture right now. More than anything, um, you know, the baseball will come and, it, and the brand of baseball is going to be pure, going to be good. Uh, and that's what's going to take us a long way. Ultimately, that will get us to our end goals. Make sure students to come out and support your Knights and watch their first scrimmage February 15th against St. Mary's here at Higley. This has been Andrew Scharr and Jack Stone reporting for The Studio. Tuesday's blood drive was held in the auxiliary gym. Many students took the opportunity to donate blood for those in need. Thank you to all who donated. 
On Tuesday, the studio crew took a break from production to visit the Feed My Starving Children location in Mesa. After a brief training video, we began packing food for hungry children in Thailand. Our team packed 27 of the total 131 boxes packed during the volunteer session. As a result of the effort, 77 children will receive food for an entire year. If you'd like to get involved, visit the organization's website at fmsc.org. The Hickley Choir program has already had an amazing year. Kylie recently spoke with a few members to learn about the program and how it has impacted their lives. You might have heard them during pep rallies or at their concerts, but most students here at Higley probably don't know that much about the choir program or the students in it. I decided to talk to a few of them to learn more about how the program works and why they decide to join it. So I decided to join choir because I love singing. I've always been singing. And my freshman year, I heard them singing in, the, in their classroom next to ours, and I wanted to join that. Why I decided to join choir? Well, I've always liked singing. That was like my main thing. So I was like, why not just sing in a whole group? The hardest part about choir is making sure that our voices mesh, that we're singing it perfectly. We know the words, we know what actions we're doing, if there's any movements, and just making sure it overall sounds good. <laughs> I think people do assume it's really easy. You're like working as a team, and that's where a lot of the effort goes into, is making sure you guys work as a team. You know, there's a lot more obligations than just showing up and singing. Even with all the effort that goes into this hobby, they don't plan on completely abandoning it in the future. I don't plan on doing it as like my major, but I definitely plan on to keep singing and like going to auditions and just maybe joining an outside choir for fun. I'm not sure actually. Right now I'm not thinking of it, because I'm focusing on like my actual career because I want to go into law. But if I was offered, I would probably do like a choir or something like as like a small portion of my downtime. So maybe, yeah, it's possible. I would recommend other students to join choir because it's just such a fun environment and like atmosphere. Like we generally have so many inside jokes and just a grand old time no matter what. Like, yeah, it's kind of hard, but the end result is always so fun, and it's the family that you get from it is amazing. Honestly, it's super fun. Like, you get to meet all these different people. We go on trips. I went to, like, New York. I've been to San Francisco. I've been to all these places. And like I said, you meet a ton of different people. You get to, like, sing a bunch of beautiful music. You get all these opportunities. It's, it's totally worth it. Like, even if you just go for, like, a year, it's definitely something you can learn from. Tonight and tomorrow, they'll be competing in the Jazz Madrigal Festival, the largest choir festival in the country, so make sure to wish them luck nights. Reporting for the studio, I'm Kylie Pierre. If you're into crime shows, we've found the perfect elective for you. Phoenix caught up with criminal justice teacher, Mr. Claridge, to find out more. That's why, guys, that's why you do have these issues that people do what? You just said, she's not there anymore. Criminal Justice is a course here at Higley that talks about general laws, crimes, and other justice-related things in the class. I caught up with Mr. Claridge and a student in the program to tell us more about the Criminal Justice class. The Archer Criminal Justice program is fairly new. It started last year. We do everything from studying criminal law to police procedure, learning how to handcuff, how to take fingerprints. Pretty much anything that police do, we're addressing that here in this class. Criminal Justice also do a lot of interactive activities too. The different activities we do in the class, one time we did a whole investigation to where we went to a different room and we took fingerprints off of a mannequin type thing. We also just uh, the other day, we went outside and we had some cops explain to us different things. With other electives and classes here at Higley, I asked why this class is unique to take. Criminal Justice is uh, a very unique class. Any other class on this campus, you're going to do things in here that you probably won't do anywhere else. So sometimes the topics are a little bit deep and dark, but uh, you know, we even have rubber guns that we use in this class where we're talking about how to handle a firearm. Teacher, the teacher is very cool and uh, tells us different stories that he experienced because he was a cop. So we do that classroom instruction where a typical day you might have to sit and, and learn a few things, but you'll have another day where you're in a lab looking at a crime scene or you're actually up and, and, and out and about doing something with police radio or uh, police shields. Students should join criminal justice because there's more interactive activities. The teacher's very cool and you get to meet new people and it's overall uh, an amazing class. There you have it, Knights. If you're interested in criminal justice, make sure to lock it into your classes before February 14th. This is Phoenix McNeil reporting for The Studio. With Valentine's Day right around the corner, Band has begun selling saxigrams. Make sure to get one for your friends at lunch. On January 24th, the Higley Esports Club made it to the finals with their League of Legends team, the Nightmares. The team fell short, but achieved several milestones along the way. 
Great job, guys. The team will continue representing Higley next season. Here in the valley, we're surrounded by so many beautiful mountain ranges. As a result, hiking has become a popular pastime for many students on campus. Hayden and I talked to a few nights about why hiking is special to them. Hiking is the fourth most popular outdoor activity in the United States. In Arizona, it is even more prominent due to the unique desert landscape only 30 minutes away from our school. I like hiking because it's just peaceful for me because you can go out in nature and see all the pretty scenes and I think it's a fun way to exercise. I think hiking is super cool because it's an easy way just to get outside. Um, you can grab some friends and just enjoy some scenery, just have a good time. Honestly, I like to hike because I feel like it gives me a sense of clarity. Like if I ever have like a question on my mind and I go hiking, I feel like it's just answered by me like kind of meditating on the thought. So. While many students really enjoy hiking, some have ideas of better ways to use their time. I don't like hiking because it's like walking, but it's harder. You have to walk uphill, and there's a bunch of rocks in your way, and it's usually hot. It's boring, and there's nothing to look at. <laughs> to be honest, I'd rather go to the gym than go on a hike. It's officially hiking season, so next time you have a free Saturday morning, make sure you take a trip to any of the beautiful mountain ranges so close to town. Reporting for the studio, this is Hayden and Riley. That's all we have for you this time, Knights. Thanks for watching. Also, be sure to check us out on Twitter and Instagram at the Studio HHS. We'll see you next Friday. I fell asleep